Before we get into the video, there's a new giveaway we have going on on the channel right now and if you guys want to be a part of it because I want to make sure you guys don't miss out, then go over to our previous video, the best coins for 100x gains, Cardano vs Ethereum plus more, give it a like, subscribe to our channel and also comment down below on that video your favourite crypto and why. If you don't comment on that video your favourite crypto and why, then you won't be in the running for the competition. Now the winner of this competition gets a whole month free in our VIP coin calls group. We'll be running many of these giveaways in the future as well, so stay tuned to the channel for that for your chance to win. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment your favourite crypto and why on that video. And if you are interested in joining our Patreon, come hang out with us for a month, it's $25 and you'll be put into the channel with over 100 different people. So me and Tom will be running the channel, giving you guys different buys every single week and month. And so far we've yielded well over 100% profit in the last three weeks. If you do want to join us, then feel free to do so. And I hope to see you over there. All right, what's going on everyone? It's Joshua from Crypto Busy, and today we're gonna to be looking at a few different coins that have been very popular in the recent days and weeks. And I think it's gonna be a good episode, guys. So if you do like this kind of content, please leave us a like and also subscribe to the channel. Anyway, Bitcoin is, cur is currently up around $9,500, and uh, that's pretty good considering the other day it was around 9,200, 9,300. So we are up a little bit, uh, around 2% in the last 24 hours. So that's pretty good to see some nice gains if you're holding uh, a big chunk of Bitcoin. Now, on top of this, Ethereum shot up about 8% over the last few days, over the last 24 hours, which is really good if you're holding a lot of Ethereum. I think we might actually see a further move with Ethereum, maybe up to the you know, 280, $300 mark. So we'll see what we, so, but we'll have to wait and see about that. But anyway, we're gonna go over Utrust, UTK, Elrond, ERD, Chainlink, Link, and Swipe, SXP. So SXP we haven't actually covered on the channel yet, but we will be doing that today. ERD we've covered a little bit before. You trust, you know, has always been one of my favorite cryptocurrencies. In fact, it was one of my monthly picks for this month, and we're almost up a 3x on it. So stay tuned for more monthly picks in the coming next month as well. So let's start off with Utrust. So Utrust, as you can see, 26% in this last week. However, if we go to the month, you can see it's actually been up a lot more than that, 147%. So it's been definitely a very good monthly pick. But what we want to look at here is, is this going to be a good investment for the long run and also a good short term investment as well? So the Galaxy score is currently at 58.5, which could be better. I like to see them usually over 60 and especially over 70. However, you know, 58.5 isn't awful. And alt rank is 33 out of 1,805. So that's, that's very good. So the social engagement is actually going up for you. Trust is actually one of the highest ranked for social engagement today. And uh, I think a lot of people are kind of realizing how good of a project it is. I mean, we've been saying on this channel for the last two or three years now that you trust is going to do big things and going to be a big cryptocurrency, whether it becomes kind of the next PayPal or not. But, you know, regardless, I still think it will do well and maybe get bought out in the future. But regardless, I think the token and the price will increase. Um, it's got a $40 million market cap, which is so small compared to other projects of this caliber. And I really do think that if you take a chance on you trust, you could see some insane gains. Now, of course, this is not financial advice. You have to make up your own decisions there. But you trust is one of my long term holds and it has been for a couple years now. So let's go over and actually analyze it on the technical side. So as you can see, we're in a clear uptrend. We don't see any signs of slowing down yet. So that's pretty good. Uh, now, there's a few things we could kind of uh, kind of explore here. So you see there is a level of support here that's most likely going to be made uh, from the previous resistance. So we could see the price potentially come back down to that kind of seven cent mark and then bounce upwards again. However, if we go down to something like the, the one hour chart, you can see we have actually rejected that already and are moving higher. So there is also a chance that we won't even go back there and we will just keep trucking on higher. So there's not really too much else to you trust right now on this chart. As you can see, we're in a clear uptrend. I'm not expecting it to go down anytime soon. It just shows a lot of bullish behavior. We have rejected on the one hour. However, we haven't rejected on the daily. So I'm not too sure what to make of this right now. If we switch over to the four hour, you can see again, that kind of seven to eight cent area was where I'd really be looking for a rejection. Uh, I'd really like to see price come back down there before we could see some more pump upwards. 
Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see on Utrust. But I do think it's got a very bullish future for the long term. So up next we've got Elrond. Elrond or ERD is a very interesting project because uh, at first it got quite a lot of controversy around it and uh, now a lot of people seem to really enjoy it. So Elrond is a, is a project that's been on my radar for a little while now ever since it kind of had its big kind of pump. I've never really been invested in Elrond personally but uh, I definitely do want to look more into it as it does sound interesting. So we'll definitely be doing that but this is this episode isn't about the project itself this is more just about the technical side and the social engagement side so Elrond is currently up 15% this week and let's have a look at the month you can see we're actually up 222% this month alone which is pretty incredible it's got a galaxy score of 67 out of 100 which is pretty good and an alt rank of 158 out of 1805 which again is pretty good so that's good to see let's have a look at all metrics to see what the social engagement is telling us so as you can see, we've had a big increase in the combined social volume recently. Social engagement also having a big uptick. So people are definitely very bullish, or at least talking about Elrond a lot, which helps with the bullish nature of things. Elrond has had a massive run up recently, but will it continue to do so? And I think it's really important that we, we revisit the chart and we see, is it still going to go on a run? So right now we are in kind of the second or third leg of a, of a uptrend. You can see we started here on a small uptrend as getting bigger and bigger and then this violent eruption to which we had a pullback and now we're going higher. Now there's a few different ways we could look at this, okay? So the first way which I want to explore is a potential double bottom scenario. So this is kind of a level we know now has acted as a point that has pushed price up. So if price was to return to there, which for those of you that aren't watching, you're just listening, uh, that's around the 1.2, 1.3 cent mark. Once we get back down there, I'm expecting price to bounce again. So what we could see is a double bottom formation and an uptrend continue. However, if that doesn't happen, what we could do is I'm waiting for a break above 1.7 cents. And then if I do get that, I'm waiting for that a retest on 1.7 cents to move then a lot higher. Um, where could I see our ERD in the next few weeks? It really depends on the market as a whole, but I could definitely see kind of that 2.5 cent mark being a realistic target. So we'll definitely keep our eye on ERD and see what happens for the future. For those of you that are brand new to the Crypto Busy channel, you might not know, we work with a company called AAX, which is one of the best crypto exchanges that we've ever worked with. So you can spot trade, you can trade futures, you can buy and sell cryptocurrency, and it's a very slick website, very nice, easy process. And guys, for the Crypto Busy subscribers, you guys can actually create an account right now and activate their welcome bonus. And so all you have to do is open up an account, sign up, complete level one of verification, and you're gonna get five free dollars in Bitcoin. And then if you deposit 1500 USDT or more, then you're gonna get $50 in free Bitcoin as well. So it's a win-win there. So that's $55 in total you can get for, in free Bitcoin for literally just signing up and depositing some money. You can sign up, deposit some money, start trading and get paid to do so. It sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Make sure you use the link in the description. It really helps us out and it also helps AAX out. Hope to see you guys trading over there. Up next we've got Link or Chainlink. So Chainlink has had a very interesting couple of weeks. So those of you might know that Chainlink had a bit of an eruption in price recently but then it has been a bit stagnant over the last couple of days. So if we go to the one month, you can see how much it's up. It's up 67%. So we saw it kind of climb from around that $5.80 mark, which is where we called it in our coin group. And uh, we rode it all the way up to $8. And then it even went to $8.74 at one point. Um, but then it kind of went back down to about $7. And I think we may have even gotten to $6.98 or something recently. But we are back at $7.90 right now. So it's looking pretty bullish for Chainlink. I would personally see Chainlink going higher. Social engagement is good. We've got a Galaxy score of 70, which is fantastic. Alt rank of 8, which is fantastic. So things are really moving in Chainlink's favor. We've made a couple of videos if you'd like to learn more about what Chainlink is and what Chainlink does. So go check them out. But let's take a look at the chart. So again, Chainlink, we are in this next leg of an uptrend. And we made this somewhat double bottom formation here. And we are looking to kind of attack the all-time kind of attack the time kind of attack the high that we saw the other day the $8.60 $8.70 region now do i see it going back there straight away i personally do um now this is not a buy signal this is not something i'd put in my group i'm not 100% confident on this however looking at this chart right now 
I see us pumping up to $8.60 in the next couple of days. Now, whether that happens, whether that doesn't, it uh, doesn't really matter to me as I'm not trading it. However, that is where I'd see it if I had to make a guess. Now, could we go higher than this? I think we definitely could, but probably not too much higher than the $10 mark for now. We'll just wait to see how the rest of the market plays out. Let's go on to the four hour chart now and see if we can get a better idea of what's happening. So this is quite interesting. And this is part of the reason why I think we are actually going to start more of an uptrend. We've broken this trend line right here and you can see the price is really starting to pump up. The scenario I see happening now is we've started a new uptrend on the four hour chart after breaking this miniature downtrend and I expect to see us going, like I said, back to the $8.70, potentially $9 and potentially $10 in the next couple of weeks. So keep your eye on Chainlink, I think it could be a good one. And last up today we've got Swipe which is SXP and in the last month it's been up 244% pretty much which is uh, again very crazy gain there and it's been one of those uh, one of those cryptocurrencies that's just exponentially grown throughout the month it's got a galaxy score of 65 out of 100 which is pretty good an alt rank of 193 out of 1805 pretty good as well let's take a look at the social metrics so you can see the combined social volume uh, yesterday we actually had a massive spike there so a lot of people talking about swipe and i think that's when we saw a really big price increase as well and on top of that, you can see the spike across the board in all these like, you know, Twitter replies, uh, retweets, all that kind of good stuff. So, you know, people are definitely talking about Swipe uh, a lot recently. It's really come on some people's radar. Market cap is only 109 million, lots of room for growth. So I wouldn't be too surprised if we saw this thing keep climbing as it was obviously undervalued before. Let's take a look at the charts. Now, unfortunately, there's not much data. So this is the one hour chart. If we go to the daily, you can see there's only like four candlesticks available. So we can't really use the daily or the four hours to do our best on the one hour. And uh, the best I can do here really is show you guys that we have broken this kind of downtrend here and uh, retested and moved upwards. So I would expect us to kind of move towards $1.70 and beyond. Again, there's not really anywhere to target for the price. But $1.70 is where I could see this thing going short term and uh, long term, I, I mean, again, I don't really know based on technicals alone. I'd have to do more research into the project, but it does seem pretty cool and I wouldn't be surprised if this thing did really take off even more. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it in terms of the video today. If you did enjoy, please leave us a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new we do videos every single day and also comment down below what you think like i said before don't miss out on the competition so go over to that video that i mentioned i'll link in the description uh, click on it like the video and comment your favorite crypto and why and you'll be entered in with a chance to win our uh, one month free in the vip group and if you do want to join the vip group anyway which i recommend because we have made very good profits so far and we also offer bi-weekly seminars where we can teach trading as well that is only $25 a month, and you can get that in the link in the description as well. So hope to see you guys over there. Stay safe. Bye.